Oh, well, I saw a good win and a good performance by, by the team. And a good yeah, day it was a good. Well, it, was a, it was a hard working performance. Um, you know, they, they didn't give us anything. You know, a big strong side. Uh, we made a few changes, obviously, which we had to, is enforced on us. And it's difficult at this stage of the season when there is actually nothing on it for teams. But you know, credit to the lads, they went out there, kept going. Um, and yeah, Bobby Scott, please, please just punch. He, if he had a better, you know, the service into him wasn't the greatest. But uh, the kid's got potential and he's done very, very well. And, you know, probably in an ideal world, I'd play him off a big man. But, you know, the two big men played Saturday. Yeah, we had two small ones up front. And uh, at times it was difficult for him because the balls into him weren't, weren't decent enough. But um, no, pleased with him. He, you know, he worked his socks off. He's a great kid, got a great attitude, and uh, he'll be decent for us. Yep. And on the light tonight, Sean, you've got a big game on Thursday. Yeah. Have you got a message from Malcolm, the players? Um, Malcolm, the players. He's not having the home dressing room. <laughs> If he has got to have it, I'll flood it. No, um, no. It's, listen, it's a great thing for the supporters. I hope a lot of people turn out because obviously the pitch is going to cost the club a lot of money to put right. Um, you know, they're going to spend a lot of money putting it right. Uh, it's a great gesture for the fans. It's something the players will put back, um, you know, and we'll use it as part of a training session. Um, you know, and uh, as I say, it's, it's light-hearted fun, but, you know, hopefully people can turn up uh, and just put their hand in their pocket if it's a small donation uh, and have a laugh and... Um, you know, sure, see a few of us out there running around. Maybe even get Martin the groundsman out there running around. <laughs> Are you planning for next season already? Yeah, games yeah, always, always planning. I mean, and we have to. Uh, and unfortunately, we have missed out this season. And uh, you know, we're not happy with that um, as a management team. But uh, I think everyone knows the reasons why. Uh, not you know, school enough. Uh, you know, the answers in games don't uh, failure. So we need to address that. But um, you know, the football clubs moved in the right direction. Um, you know, you'd always get the doom and gloomers who come out of woodwork when we lose a couple of games. Uh, I've had it for three years, I've been here long enough now, um, you know, and that's disappointing. But the real people and the proper people who are here week in, week out, uh, know where this football club's going and where it was and where the state it was in before. By the people who'd uh, sort of been here and uh, supposedly did so well with it. But, um, you know, as I say, I, it's water for ducks back now because since I've been in the job, I've had the same thing. So um, we'll keep working hard. And yes, we're planning for next season and, uh, you know, hopefully too many changes, but we do need a few in. And, you know, that's all you can do now. We've got three games left. Uh, try and remain unbeaten for the rest of the season, uh, as I say, and, uh, you know, look to next season and rebuilding and going again.